Whether you are pumping gas or buying groceries, you're using services that rely on weights and measures. But as NBC 15's Michelle Real tells us, you don't always get what you pay for. Well, up to 50% of your income is spent on items and services monitored by weights and measures inspectors and city sealers. So we wanted to find out how well area stores are measuring up. We'll take a five gallon test draft. Mark Nickel is a state weights and measures inspector. He's testing the gas delivery accuracy at the BP station in McFarland. Exactly five gallons would be on the zero mark. Uh, this, this pump would be intolerance. It needs to be plus or minus six cubic inches to be legal. In line with the statewide average for 2007, meaning 99.3% of the time you are getting a full gallon of gas. In fact, you often get one teaspoon of gas more than what you pay for. Nickel also tests the weights and measures at grocery and retail stores. He uses his standard weights on the checkout scale to make sure you're being accurately charged. He also makes sure the price advertised is the price you're paying. Statewide, 99.4% of the time, scales measure a full pound of product. And 98.3% of the time, you are charged the correct price that's advertised. Nickel also checks to make sure you're only being charged for the weight of your meat or fish, not the packaging too, also called the tear. The tear on this is approximately 0.05 pounds. So if the business is including this weight in the net weight, which they're not allowed to do, uh, that would be a, a 45 cent overcharge to the customer. Something that would likely happen more without random inspections of nearly 200,000 products and services. If we aren't out there making sure that a full gallon of gas is being delivered, a full pound of product is being delivered, it ends up not being delivered. And we did find a handful of local gas stations not delivering the gas you paid for in 2007. Two of the biggest offenders in southern Wisconsin were the Liberty Gas Station on Bird Street in Sun Prairie. Its premium gas was being under-delivered by 26 cubic inches, and the PDQ on Roby Road in Stoughton was found to be under-delivering its premium gas by 22 cubic inches in 2007. Errors, we're told, are due to mechanical malfunction and have since been fixed.